All right, welcome everybody to our afternoon marketable skills class. If you all will go ahead and, and mute your mics and um, if you don't want to be recorded, uh, turn your video camera off. Um, we are going to learn how to make a decorative gift box today with Deborah Foster. She's a Marshall County FCE member. Um, if you all have any questions, um, you know, you know, tap in the chat box if you need us to pause or go over something again. Um, or if you have any comments, um, let us know through the chat box and we can address it that way. All right, Deborah, take it away. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm glad that you're with us. Uh, we're going to do a, the little gift box. You'll need to keep in mind that your uh, paper product, whether it be ca uh, cardstock, uh, scrapbook paper, or even poster board, it must be a square and preferably a, a 12 inch square uh, so that it will be big enough to hold uh, a small gift. Uh, but that's, what, that's the main thing that you do start with a square. Uh, the ribbon, that I used, I used just a regular size hole punch. And so an eighth inch or even a fourth inch ribbon or jute uh, works well to go through those holes. A couple of them I used a little gauze like ribbon and it was a fourth of an inch, but of course it's very pliable and, and went through the hole uh, really good. Uh, other than that, just your scissors and a pencil and ruler uh, and then a piece of tissue paper to finish off your gift box uh, when you're ready to put your gift in it. Okay, today we're going to make a nice little gift box out of cardstock or scrapbook paper, and this is your finished product. You'll start with, I used, uh, on this one, I used the scrapbook paper, and a lot of the scrapbook paper that you buy will have this white border on it. You will need to trim that off before you start, otherwise it's not going to be a perfect square. You're going to start with a 12 by 12 piece of uh, heavy cardstock, uh, even poster board or uh, scrapbook paper. You're going to do all your marking on the wrong side. So you turn your paper over face down. It is a 12 by 12 and you're dividing each side into thirds. So a third of 12 would be four. So carefully mark along each edge four inches. Remember that some rulers will come, uh, the measuring part comes all the way to the end of your uh, ruler. On this one, it has a mark showing where the, the gauge actually starts. So just be careful with that. So we're just simply going, going to mark at four inch intervals on all four sides. Again, you're doing this on the side that will be inside your box, so your marks are not going to show. Okay, once you have your marks, you're going to connect the uh, marks with a line from opposite sides, uh, vertically and horizontally. So you're simply going to draw the line all the way across. You do need to be as accurate as possible on your measurements so that your uh, box will be a cube. Thank you. 
now that you have uh, looks like a tic-tac-toe board, you have uh, nine. Okay, we're going to pause for just a minute to give everybody time to get their markings and their lines drawn before we start the next step. If anybody has any questions. Uh, squares that are four inch each. You're going to cut away each of the corners. You want to cut to the mark where the lines intersect but not past that point. And you'll do that on all four corners. Now, I'm not one to throw away things, so I'm going to lay my squares that I've trimmed away aside, and I'll show you something you can do with that at the end. Okay, again, we're going to stop and give you time to catch up to make sure you've got all your corners cut off. Is there anyone that has not finished and ready to go on? Okay. okay, now we have a plus sign or a cross and we're going to fold or crease on each of these lines that we have left. Uh, you can use um, a ruler to uh, line it up and make a good crease or you can just simply fold it you do want to make a good crease so that the side of the box will stand up. You do need to have uh, as heavy weight uh, scrapbook paper. I know some of it is heavier than others in order for this to be substantial. Okay, now we have our box and you bring all four sides up together. And now you're ready to use your hole punch. Okay, if you will turn to the side that uh, is printed, it may be a little bit easier to judge. You want to put uh, holes in each of the top corners where your box comes together. And that's where we're going to put our ribbon 
to tie it up. You don't want to get too close to the edge, but you don't want to, so that it might tear out, but not so far away that it's going to uh, bunch it up. So you. I think it's probably close to a half inch. If you go a half inch down and up from each of the edges uh, and, and from the side, then uh, I think that would be a, a good margin to go by. Putting two holes in each piece or in each corner. And there we have it. Where you have all oops and this one. Okay, now we have we have our um, plus sign, we have our holes in each corner. It's going to be the top of the box. So bring it back up together, and now you're ready for your ribbon. You can use uh twine. A uh, fourth or eighth inch ribbon, and uh, you need 10 to 12 inches of ribbon for each of your four corners. I usually start with a little bit more. I usually start with about 12 inches so that uh, when I tie my ribbon, if one side's a little bit longer than the other or I need to trim, I can. You could even use the curly ribbon that you uh, use for gift wrapping and maybe make the little uh, curls to hang down. Then you thread your ribbon through the adjacent holes and you tie a bow. Okay, there we have our first bow. I'll probably come back and adjust it, but I'll get all of them done first. Be sure to bring your edges of your paper so that it meets, but it doesn't overlap. These boxes are not sturdy enough to hold a really heavy gift. They're just something small. And lightweight. Okay, now we have all four corners tied. And you just work with your bows to get them all about the same. And there we have a box. 
Then you're using a piece of tissue paper. And whatever gift that you plan to give, you'll put inside your tissue paper. And then slip it down into the box. And you have a nice little gift bag. Okay, here we have some candy. And you're ready to go with your gift. Okay, I told you not that I don't throw things away. Here are the four corners that I cut from our box that we just finished. Uh, you can take, you will need one more square. Of course, these are four inch squares. And here's a four inch square that I cut just from poster board. Uh, in fact, it's from a box that I had made uh, and it's one of the corners. You uh, obviously want to turn your craft, the designs face down. And then you will need a sturdy tape. Uh, I had this packaging tape on hand, so that's what I used. Get your sides lined up to, this is the white one. It's going to be the bottom, so it really doesn't matter that it's not the same color as your sides are going to be. And then I simply tape the sides together, or the sides to the bottom. Just don't get your tape longer than the sides because then you're going to have the overhand and it's going to interfere when you try to bring your sides together. I would advise using the wider tape than just plain scotch, the narrow width of scotch tape, um, so that you've got a, a bigger surface holding together. Now you can see that you have your plus or plus sign or your cross. This is going to be again the, the bottom, so it doesn't really matter. And then you take the same steps. You are ready to put holes in the corners. I got that one a little bit too close to the edge, so you need to be careful about that because it could pull out then when I tie the ribbon. And then from there, it's the same as the other box, and you tie your sides, your corners together, and you have a box and you didn't waste anything. Okay, this is a box that I made simply using a piece of poster board. I drew out and uh, my 12 inch square from the poster board, cut it and then cut all four corners. In fact, that's one of the corners that I used for the bottom of the other box. Then I took some Christmas cards. Again, I don't like to play, throw things away and I thought all these Christmas cards were pretty. And I simply cut four inch squares from my Christmas card. And uh, again, you've got to be very careful about the size and make sure you're accurate me uh, measurements. Then I use just uh, double sided tape and put on a strip at the top on the back side of each of the Christmas cards and attached it to the uh, poster board before I folded it up. Then I push the punch the holes through, and this one makes uh, a much more sturdy box as well. 
because the poster board is a heavier weight and then the uh, Christmas cards added that extra layer of weight as well. And uh, another option of using uh, recycling Christmas cards. And poster board is ready, readily available at just about anywhere. Uh, one thing I want to caution you about is if your um, scrapbook paper has a direction to it, as this one did, once you have cut, this is the only side that the print is gonna be uh, in the right direction. On this one, I really didn't care because I think it, it made up fine, but notice that this one is sideways. This one's gonna be upside down, and then this one will be sideways as well. With this print, I didn't feel that it made a whole lot of difference and still made a nice little box. And you'll see that I used a uh, jute to tie this box instead of ribbon. Okay, this is a little box that I made. Uh, I need to remind you that you must start with a square of your uh, scrapbook paper or your poster board. Uh, the box that we made earlier, the black dot, this box is a, was a 12 inch square when we started. This smaller box started out as a nine inch square. And here I've just put a little Easter grass in it that you could put a little, uh, some Easter candy or something to dress it up. Uh, it's hard to believe that it's that much difference. I go through the same with a nine inch square of uh, poster board or uh, scrapbook paper. You need to divide it by three. So therefore all your markings would be three inches apart. Uh, anything multiple of three, the size square will work. Of course, a six inch square would be very small. Here you can see the difference in the sizes of the box. Uh, the black dot being uh, starting as a 12 inch square and then the pink uh, began as a nine inch square. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, we have a lot of comments in the chat, Deborah. Um, everybody's saying it's really cute, that it's a lot easier than they imagined, that they could save a lot of money making their own gift boxes, and size doesn't seem to be a problem since they could just adjust their measurements. Um, they're saying they love the no waste and a lot of them have a lot of scrapbooking scraps they could use for the bottoms. They like the idea of Christmas cards uh, and uh, just thought it would be good for cookie gifts too, a cute idea for cookie gifts. Yeah, I make, I give homemade fudge a lot for Christmas and so I'm thinking I may use some of these to put a little bag of uh, fudge in as a gift. It makes it very special that, that you made the box as well as the candy or cookies. And, and they are truly very easy to make. Any more questions? Well, um, that concludes the decorative gift box session. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah.